Aries, let's get down to business, okay? I'm really excited to do your reading and jump into your vibes because when I was getting into it, I kept getting for you and it was coming in really, really strong. You're about to have a surprise or something that's coming to your life that is going to make up for everything that you've been through in these past two to three years. So think back, what have you been going through? What have you been hoping and praying to receive? What have you been praying to release? Okay. And I'm also getting this whole thing like you're owed a favor. You've been doing good things and putting out good vibes and it's like the universe wants to pay you back, okay? So you're about to be paid back for the last two or three years. I'm getting a sacrifice, okay? I keep getting, thank you for your sacrifice. So we're going to be jumping to this read to see what it's all about. It's heavy, heavy energy that was surrounding you that is now passing over like some type of cloud, okay? So let's see what we get first. Doubt. I release the need to know all of the answers. Don't worry about how. Don't worry about the exact day and time. Just know it is what it is, okay? Some of y'all have been wondering, why did these last two or three years happen the way that they happened? Did I do something wrong? Is it, is it my fault? Is this karma? Is this, you know, the divine plan? Like, what is actually going on? And the answer is, you don't need to know right now, okay? Don't worry about why or how this thing is going to shift or change around. Just know that it will and it's doing it as I speak. Let's see what else we get. Friendship and union. Okay, so when it comes to this turnaround, it might have something to do with you guys meeting someone. A lot of people in the collective body are meeting people on purpose. What does this mean? This means that I set intentions in my mind of the type of people, associations, relationships that I want to have. I am purposefully creating this so that I can manifest it in the, in the uh, physical realm. Okay. So watch this. I was getting this the other day. You are meeting people on purpose because they are connected to your purpose. All over the collective body, all of the chosen ones, this is our time. Like the trumpets are sounding. It's up to us to rise up. But the thing is, we're not going to have to do it alone. A lot of the chosen body is going to start connecting. So you're going to meet people on purpose by asking questions instead of, you know, is it going to work out? Is it going to happen? You're asking questions now. Which direction is the direction of my soul tribe? Who are the people that are going to walk into the promised land with me? You know, that kind of thing. So let's see what we got right here. We're going to start over here and then we're going to take it over to Patreon. This is my first reading for you guys in a long time. So I am going to do an extended vibe over on Patreon. Okay. So let's see what's the current vibe and energy right now for Aries. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Remember I told you the universe is going to pay you back? Where there it is. This is an equal exchange. Sometimes uh, with these different decks, you'll see a scale. Something balancing out. It's like you've been giving, you've been giving, you've been hoping, you've been wishing, you've been praying, you've been planting those seeds, and you haven't been seeing anything. Remember, past two or three years. But here comes that return. Here comes reaping what you've sown. And a lot of you guys have sown beautiful, great seeds. And even though you didn't see it growing, boom, it's going to come shooting out, sprouting out, okay? Also, Six of Pentacles is talking about something leveling out in the money world for you, okay? Something in the spiritual realm um, has some, some gifts for you that need to be deposited. They need to be released onto you, okay? So be on the lookout for, some of you guys may get random checks. I'm getting, um, you may get a test with random small checks. How are you going to receive that money? Are you going to look at a thousand for five dollars? You know, like those little settlements. Oh, it's just $5. No, get prepared. Oh, $5. Celebrate that because more is coming in. More is coming in. Now watch this. This card jumps out. What's crossing Aries right now? Why is Aries having such a tough time making this transition? Well, it's nine of swords. It's the thoughts in your head. I almost choked on my gun. <laughs> Doubt. Okay. This is what doubt looks like. So this is doubt as the words, okay? But this is the physical way that it looks. It looks like someone sitting there struggling in their own thoughts, in their own head, in their own mind. They, they don't know which direction to take. And this is not just, you know, trying to come up with a plan. This is stressing about it. This is thinking of the worst case scenario. Aries, I'm here today to set you free. 
half the stuff that you be thinking about, it's not going to happen. It's going to turn out bigger and better than you could have ever imagined. You're going to be smiling ear to ear. You're going to be extremely happy. And all of this, see, we think the work that we put in was in vain. But no, the worrying, the stressing, the overthinking. Now, that's the stuff that's in vain. Remember I said there's some blessings like the universe on you. God want to really just pour out to you. What's blocking it? What's crossing it? The overthinking, the stressing, the doubt. Okay? So I don't want to say you're blocking your blessing. I don't want to say that. I'm just saying the more positive you are in your mind, the quicker that blessing can find you. Think of it like, uh, like I told y'all before, like Marco Polo. You know, uh, your blessings are calling out to you. And you have to be able to respond with the same vibration so that y'all align and come together. Okay, let's see. This jumps out in the deep root of things. Two of Pentacles has a lot to do again with the money, the moolah. So there is, um, again, some balancing out of finances. Some of you guys are about to get some type of money that makes up for two or three years of like a loss. Like you guys may have, let's say you lost a job three years ago and you had to be in a struggle these last two or three years. And then boom, here comes something that makes up for what you would have made working that job for the last three years. You get one lump sum more than that, right? And you're able to take that and then multiply it and then put it here and do there and all these kind of things. And then it like it doubles, okay? It multiplies itself. So whatever this is that you've lost, you can consider yourself getting it back double. Okay? Double for your trouble. Right? Let's see. What happened? Ooh, this is what happened in the past. Aries. Okay. Pull out a pen and paper. Start writing down your goals. Right? Dave Ramsey. He said, every dollar got to have a seat. Even before it gets to you. Right? So plan it out. Okay? Boom. Three of Pentacles in the past. Work, collaborative effort, coming together, meeting people. Some of you guys may have met some people who are already a part of your soul tribe. You may have recently met some people on purpose because they are connected to your purpose. So a lot of you guys, in the past energy, you were able to decipher between who is going to cross over into the promised land and who you're going to be able to cultivate and uh, work with to get more money, cultivate more money together. Okay? But I do want to... Clarify. Three of Pentacles in a recent past. The Sun card. Ooh, the Sun card and the Seven of Swords. This is what I'm getting, Aries. You have the capacity to be extremely, extremely successful and extremely, extremely happy. Right? So what's the Sun card represent? Well, I'm going to lay some responsibility. Ooh. It's like you don't want to accept it. No. No. We're going to hold up this responsibility and take accountability. Right? This here, Seven of Swords, is what leads to the overthinking. Don't cheat yourself out of your blessing. Don't let anyone talk you out of what could be true and lasting happiness. These decisions that you're making moving forward are decisions that you're making on purpose because they are part of your purpose, even if they're crazy, even if other people don't understand, even if you get shunned and put out the community. Don't cheat yourself, okay? I hope that makes sense okay because remember as the chosen we get weird assignments to what everyone else would call like the world would be like oh you're weird but hey it's part of the chosen package okay let's see what's going on in the headspace for aries the wheel of fortune so something is changing the seasons are changing so whatever your season has been these last two or three years it's about to change. It's about to flip. It's about to turn. Some of y'all have been waiting for your turn. Okay. It's about to finally be your turn. Okay. The wheel is changing. Divine timing is at play. This is what I've been telling some of the other signs. Like divine timing is at play. You may not know where the next twist or turn is coming from, but you're just on this ride to enjoy it. Okay. If you're on the roller coaster ride and it's doing all of this twisting and turning and up and, and down and, and all that kind of stuff, it's part of the course, right? When you get on a roller coaster ride, you can't do anything but surrender, right? Because you are not in control. And for this next part of your life, you are definitely not in control of all of these great blessings that are going to be bestowed upon you, okay? And also, some of you guys with your doubt, with your twists and turns and ups and downs in life, think of it again like that roller coaster. Like, all of that stuff is on purpose. It was designed 
before you even sat in the chair, right? It was already laid out. It was built on purpose. Your seat had a purpose, right? So same thing in your life. Everything, the ups and downs, the back and forth, everything that you've been through, especially these last two or three years, it was on purpose. So it can get you to your purpose, okay? Near future, let's talk about the next 30 days for Aries before we take it over to Patreon. <laughs> wow. Nine of Pentacles? Really, Aries? Okay, let's just recap. Six of Pentacles, two of Pentacles, three of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles, and a Wheel of Fortune. That's what's on the other side, just in case you were doubting, just in case you didn't know. That's what's on the other side, Aries. Wow. It's so much money. And it's not even just, you know, oh, I got money, I got money. It's no, this is the life changing. You could set it up for the next generation type thing. And it's so crazy because it's all around. Like the center of the reading is one thing, but what surrounds it is what helps, you know, bring that center into perspective. So the center of the reading, we had this overthinking, right? And this is calling you to surrender because everything you need is right around you. And it's the overthinking, it's the doubt, it's the, the, the maybe just feeling like you've been through too much for anything to come change it. All of that kind of stuff has to go. So this kind of stuff can reveal itself, okay? Boom, so that's what we get here. I'm gonna take it over to Patreon and I'm gonna break it down some more. I wanna talk about some fears and how you wanna get through them. I wanna talk about how you're being viewed at this time, how you're being looked at from the outside in. Then I wanna talk about some hopes and then I wanna go a little bit deeper into this next 30 days. So we know we got some good stuff coming. You know that um, maybe you've done some good things and, and the universe is gonna pay you back. It's double for your trouble. I mean, we're gonna look into it a little bit deeper, okay? so. That's what I get for you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Patreon. Um, head on over to Amazon. Grab a copy of my workbook and journal. Yeah, that dream. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if this is where it ends for you, thank you so much for watching. Everybody else, I'll see y'all on Patreon.